Good evening, good morning, and good evening. I'm here with my wonderful wife, Laura. I'm not lovely today, aren't I? I'm wonderful. Just wonderful, sorry. Oh, done. No, it's fine. We have some kid robot, um, I suppose, licensed figures. Yeah, figures. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean... Futurama. Uh, Futurama, Family Guy, and, and Looney Tunes. Yeah, the Looney Tunes ones are weird. Yeah, they're, they're like fighting Looney Tunes ones kind of thing. Know, like they're war. at like war or something. Yeah, so kind of interesting, but very expensive, um, especially in Australia. Yeah. I don't um, know how much they are overseas. They're about 25 here, Australia. 20. 20? 20 here, yeah. It depends where you go, but yeah, they're very expensive. Yeah. Um, should we do a Futurama one? Yeah, let's, let's get right into it. I'm going to grab this one on this side. Uh, so if you haven't seen some of our big blind bag blitzes we've actually opened one of these before and we got um elza or quasar what's his name oh, we opened two i think we've had a leela oh, as yeah. well she came with that super cream yeah so we've had um yeah we've had um yeah elza you're right and leela yeah so there's sort of everyone you can get now these do all have different rarities of course i want the the, the rooster lawyer which is the rarest one of course yeah or aside from these like mystery ones and that's it there's only just the one yeah. inside and i think these series. are series two and yeah. apparently it's not a toy no no playing with them would you like some skizzers okay no i think no, you got it i think i've got it yeah, but yeah. in preparation yeah because they glued down as well as um tape down there we go. Oh, someone bulky and uh, we have hair strip oh, oh. Jeez. These tear strips on Kid Robot stuff, I don't know. Matt groaning. Can you tell who that is from the bottom? Uh, I don't know. Who is it? <laughs> I think this is a really, really common one. It's Bender. As a king thief guy. Let me just no, it's his... a... Oh, he did. I'm like, he doesn't have his crown. Holding it on camera. He doesn't have... Oh, with my... Three in twenty. Of course, um, his crown is an accessory. His pieces are over here. So, did you want to start opening something else, and I'll get him together? Okay. Let's do the Looney Tunes. So, Looney Tunes mini series. Um, yeah, they're pretty weird. So, there's, they just they look particularly evil. Uh, there's no real rarities. There's one in twenty or two in twenty. So. So obviously, getting the one in twenties, I suppose, is slightly better. But the Bugs Bunny in drag would be pretty cool. But I'd be happy to get any of them, to be honest. Which, obviously, we're going to get at least one, because, you know, unless the box is empty. <laughs> Gee, I would be um, rather angry if that was empty, <laughs> wouldn't you, after spending $20 on it? Uh, I'd be a little bit upset, yeah. Uh. Oh, um, now, so, just quickly, um, you actually have to unscrew his head to put his Ooh. cloak on. And then it's really loose. The I suppose it's it, like it, they're really, really shoddy. Jeez. Yeah, because um, I don't actually have anywhere to like kind of screw them on or off or anything. It just sort of push in. It just. Well, sits I suppose in it's, there. they're supposed to be just for display. So. Yeah, you certainly wouldn't want to knock them. Um, the thing I liked about it though, is his little oh, front actually cool. opens. Yeah. Um, it feels very flimsy though, so you wouldn't want to be opening and closing it. Um, and his crown, just kind of. It doesn't really, uh, like, it just sort of floats around. It doesn't really stay on. That's a bit disappointing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I think they could have done a bit better. slightly better with that one. Well, how are we getting this? Yes, back to the tunes. Oh. Accessory. We Accessory. have Daffy Duck dressed as the devil. And if you sort of show, like, if you turn him around just a bit this way, he's battle damaged. Yes, yeah, so he's been in a couple of fights, I'd say. Uh, I would say fires, given that his accessory is a tank of gasoline. And he is a 2 in 20, so he's slightly more common than... Yeah, um, this is really light. It's like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, really light. Was the figure... No, the figure's pretty good. The figure's quite light, though. Yeah. It's just like plasticky, his little tail. Um, For the price, I think Given it's... that that's 20, and the future armor, I think, are 14... I don't really see a lot of quality difference. I mean, this one's a bit bigger, the Looney Tunes, but it's lighter as well. And, I mean, the Bender stuff kind of... He's doesn't really stay on that well, so... How about Family Guy? We'll leave the future on for Yeah, so... This is our first Family Guy one. Family Guy Kid Robot. So, who can we get? A few different ones. 
one with 16, one with 32. Of mystery characters. And obviously the family seems to be the most Yeah, well that common that so doesn't particularly um surprise me. I think death, but that's a question mark, so I doubt we're gonna open this and find death. Or Quagmire would be pretty cool. Yeah. I'd be happy with those so, or the pedophile guy. Yeah, I don't know what his name is. No, I can't remember it. I just no. called pedophile guy. Pedo pedophile guy, lovely. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Alright. Oh, it's big and bulky. It's probably Peter. <laughs> probably, yeah. There's oh. some legs. I think I know who that might be. <gasps> it's the, hey, there you go. Instead of calling him the pedophile guy, maybe it's put his name on a card in here. Ooh, he comes with an accessory. Is it a walking... Oh, it's a walking frame. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it doesn't Let's say who it is. It doesn't say uh, his name. Oh. It's like a sticker. But, uh, it's a sticker. Huh. That's uh, a weird accessory. Yeah. A weird... Um, yeah, I think bonus. it's a sticker. So, so he's got... A walking frame. How cool is that? And he was one in 16, I think. So he so, was um, one of the rarer ones, which is very cool. And, yeah, you can kind of put the walker in his hands and sit that in front of him. I like that one. That's really nice. Oh, well. And that's, uh, the detail-wise, it looks better than the Future Armor. I'm pretty sure they're the same price, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Um, yeah, because uh, just to look, I just noticed something on Ben's head. Like, the paint, I don't know how well it shows on camera, isn't exactly even between the two colours there. It's a bit yeah. rough. So yeah, Family Guy one's great. Ooh, this is a heavy one. He was one in thirty two. Just did you say that? Oh, one in thirty two. Oh, yeah. That's even oh, even better. Wow, we were lucky. <laughs> All right. It's the only one I think we've got, so yeah. it was a good one to get. All right, this is a heavy one. Did I, I say that about the last one? <laughs> Better not to bend her again. It's Fry as the superhero in the episode where he gets that cream. Over we'll the Leela one with him as well so it uh, and he's got a little medallion which accessory I assume we can just sort of put over his oh no Whoa, Ooh, that that's a bit hang on excited. I'll hold it there, there we excuse go. Nathan's hand in front of the camera there we go so he's got his little medallion that's a, that's a lot better than the um the bender yeah quality wise yeah I mean I, I sort of think should you really have to take your figure's head off to put an accessory on when you've spent mm. that much money <laughs> Come on, really. Come could on, you? come on. So, yeah, overall, it's probably... These two are good. Family Guy is my favourite one. Yeah. The pedophile. The, um, <laughs> Daffy Duck, if he was cheaper, would be more acceptable because he's so expensive compared to the rest of them. Yeah, um, if you enjoyed watching us open that one, yeah. you're probably not going to see us open anymore because, as we said, they are $20 here. Yeah. Um, if you can find them anywhere cheaper for, for Australia, let us know down below because we do like them, but... Yeah, the know. cost is just a bit... Mm. Bit pricey. If you enjoyed watching us open these kid robot, yeah, kid robot, kid robot boxes, <laughs> please give us a thumbs up or let us know what you think down below. And don't forget to hit subscribe. We have two new videos every single week: blind bag openings, board game reviews, and subscription box unboxings. I can't wait. Bye. Bye bye.